Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Embraer announces an Arkea aircraft family concept, old self-pilot groups protest vaccine mandate, and Heinz creates Martian ketchup. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Embraer announces an Arkea aircraft family concept. Embraer announced its new family of sustainable concept aircraft as it seeks to prepare for industry, world, and company goals of decreasing carbon emissions. The move will help set the stage for Embraer's target of achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. The first, ready by 2030, is the Energia Hybrid E9HE, a nine-seater aircraft with hybrid electric propulsion, rear-mounted engines, and a 90% CO2 emissions reduction. The second, ready by 2035, is its battery-powered sibling, the Energia Electric E9FE. The nine-seat FE will emit zero CO2 emissions and can be driven by aft contra rotating propellers. Around the same time in 2035, the H2 fuel cell Energia is expected. The E19 H2 FC will have 19 seats with rear mounted engines, zero carbon emissions, and hydrogen electric power. Finally, the H2 gas turbine Energia, a combination hydrogen of Jet A turbine aircraft, will be ready in 2040 with seating for 35 to 50 passengers. The new family of aircraft will be branded under the Energia name, with each aircraft containing a different propulsion system, fuel type, and readiness date. After the break, pilot groups protest vaccine mandate. Those details after these messages. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind, We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're gonna hear more about it. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first-of-its-kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Z Vision releases new LED HID landing and taxi lights. Z Vision announced their extreme LED lighting line with improved 35, 50, and 75 watt HID systems. Boasting high-powered, high-intensity LED fixtures for landing and taxi lights compact and efficient, the lights should simplify the trouble of installation with modular simple design. Warranted for 2,000 hours or 5 years and backed by simple, robust LED tech, the extreme systems will put to rest bulb shopping for good. Upgraded KA226T completes test flight. Rostec State Corporation's Russian Helicopters Holding Company has commenced its flight test and made the successful first flight of the KMOF KA-226. The testing has been centered at the test facility of the Mill and KMOF National Helicopter Center, a hub for the country's rotary expertise for the first time in Russian design history. The rotorcraft will be blueprinted and developed entirely in digital design software. Carpenter Avionics is now Forge Flightworks. Carpenter Avionics has announced its name change to Forge Flightworks. 
intended to reflect the company's expansion into a broader array of installation, repair, interiors, and similar services for general aviation aircraft of all kinds. The name change is simply a result of evolution, with no ownership or management changes. When Mr. Carpenter began this company in 1981, he had a mission that was focused on providing truly exemplary avionics installations, repairs, and maintenance, said Mark Lee, CEO. Republic Airways begins career program for AMT. Republic Airways will seek to make its own technicians and call dibs early, partnering with aviation maintenance schools to launch a maintenance cadet program, enabling students to obtain conditional job offers midway through their schooling for future careers at the airline. With similar programs in use for pilots at Legacy Airlines, competition will heat up for graduates looking to leverage the best deal for themselves once fresh out of school. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now, as we turn to the rest of the news, pilot groups protest vaccine mandate. U.S. Freedom Flyers, a group of discontented airline pilots, descended upon Charlotte Douglas Airport in North Carolina in a protest against the Biden administration's latest directive mandating administration of the COVID-19 vaccine. In the newest missive, all private companies with 100 employees or more must enforce a vaccine requirement be requirement beginning on January 4th. Some mild relief may be seen in limited court interventions, as seen in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals emergency stay in Louisiana. But for many workers, the court system will likely not be quick enough to act so that they retain their employment. Pilots have been one of the more visible groups fighting the mandate, taking issue with what some see as forced administration of a medication that infringes on supposedly sacred bodily autonomy, with concerns ranging from religious reservations about the possible use of aborted fetal material to health issues that preclude vaccine administration. The number of pilots who have resisted the vaccine has been an uncommonly visible example of an industry in mild, muted revolt. After these messages, Heinz creates Martian Ketchup. I'll explain after the break. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back, Heinz Crates Martian Ketchup. From the brilliant minds that brought classic ketchup flavors like Funky Purple, Stellar Blue, and Shrek movie tie-in Blasting Green, Easy Squirt, the Heinz Company has looked to the stars for the next frontier of cutting-edge space condiment manufacturing, working to develop growth procedures for premium quality ketchup tomatoes in soil conditions, much like Mars's rust-colored dirt. Heinz has worked with the Aldrin Space Institute to grow a crop suitable for use in their banner product. Beginning two years ago, Heinz and its Tomato Masters, a 14-strong astrobiology team based at Florida Tech, launched what has grown to become one of the biggest Mars-related projects 
ever conducted. Experts in soil analysis, seed selection, and agricultural techniques were brought together to replicate the unmistakable taste of Heinz tomato ketchup, even in the harshest of conditions. Sadly, for the generation raised on the distinctive red, green, purple, and blue ketchup flavors that once graced the aisles of their childhood grocers, Mars Edition bottles will not be available for purchase, being a small batch unsuited for mass production. Heinz insists their rigorous quality testing granted the resulting bottles the go-ahead to represent the Heinz standard. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. <laughs>